Uh, Dr. Hassami, there are a lot of herbal treatments out there in regards to uh, you know treatment for cancer. Mm -hmm. Uh, everything from curcumin to black cumin seed, uh, green tea. How does a patient know which herbal treatments are best for them? Exactly. Now, in herbs also, it is important that we reach the therapeutical dose. Yes. All right. And every herb works in different types of cancers. So what, what we have done is that we collected and we built up a specific protocol for every cancer type. Every for every cancer type we have has about between six to seven types of herbs that is being used. Some of them can be common in different types, some of them are specific for each type. I would say more like for example curcumin or turmeric which is known. Curcumin is known for a long time that it is an anti-inflammatory, right? but when it's given on a certain dose then it has an anti-cancer effect as well. It can kill cancer cells directly, it can block the angiogenesis, which is the formation of the blood vessels of the cancers. It can decrease the inflammation that is built up by cancers and so on. So it might have different actions. But the problem about curcumin in oral form, it is very low absorbed. It doesn't passes the, the let's say, the, or it doesn't get absorbed by the colon as other herbs. So usually you have to mix with it black pepper, you have to give it uh, an oil, for example, combine it together and so on, and it needs to be administered in very high dosages. Mm. Right? But when it's given as an IV form, then here we have a high concentration, high effectiveness against the cancer. It's passing the digestive metabolism and going directly to the cancer area. So in Verita Life here, we use both. We use the oral form in very high dosages, and the puricity of curcumin is very high. It's about 99%, the one that we use in oral form and also we have it as an IV form. So curcumin also, it's, there is a lot of researches and studies that it works very good with uh, different chemo drugs, that it enhances the effectiveness of it and also decreases certain side effects of chemotherapy. So we have built up the, the protocols for each herb. We use around between 12 to 15 different herbs on different types of cancers. So we built up the protocols to it's on killing each type of cancer or treating each type of cancer on working with each type of also chemotherapies. For example, like with IPT, sometimes we give a certain herb before administering IPT treatments in order to improve the effectiveness of this chemotherapy or the low dose chemotherapy that we're using against the cancer cells. So, yes. Fantastic, thank you.